Welcome back, everybody. I think this bee is stuck. Well, there he goes. They do that sometimes. They just sort of, like, sit there and don't move anywhere. I guess, like real bees, they try and get to the eaves. I suppose he's pathfinding over to that, but he's doing a poor job of it. Or, or maybe he's just tired. I think he's just tired. He's sitting for a rest. Anywho, we are over here. Oh, got some dead zombies around here. Over in this area is where I want to put, I'm calling it my hotel now. So on, this will be the hotel footprint. It's going to be like four stories. I think the whole base is just going to be this andesite. Although I probably don't need it on the edge here. I'm just trying to gauge if I want to want to have access back here so the wall is going to have to be yeah starting right over here so this is actually the outer or part of the outer wall and let me get my shovel here I want to move this one back a little bit because I don't need this dirt here I had a, had an, had an idea and then changed my mind and I changed it back again. And then changed it yet again. So this is like version five. Somehow something in my mind says, you know, it's like had an idea, I changed my mind and changed my back again. It sounds like a song or something. Almost something like a Paul McCartney song. But I'm I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. I could be right. I could be wrong. That sounds like a Billy Joel song. But I'm not ever going to go and name that tune because I can't name a tune correctly. It saved my life. And I couldn't actually spot the lyrics if I needed to and don't ask me to identify anything modern because I don't really listen to modern music and I'm out of andesite but that gives you a footprint for the first floor and this is going to be lobby a staircase which I think is going to be over in this corner and actually, the staircase is going to be enclosed in glass mainly. So, like, this corner is going to be a little different. So, I'm going to want a staircase probably like that. You're probably thinking, that's an odd odd block to use because it's it's not gray it's not brown it's not black so I think I'm going to strip it and then on the and then we're going to have the rest of the window be like that so did I say windows and the rest of the wall so this will be the wall here then it'll actually kind of go means I do have access I have all this uh, extra andesite here so I think I can just take that there until 1.8 comes out I'll have to torch it tell you that 
new version, at least the mob spawning changes are going to be a blessing for people who build these uh, places like this. Because it, you know, it is very uh, creatively taxing, I'm going to say, to come up with ways to light everything without you know, without looking too ugly anymore. Now you see all these different, at least the moss carpets help quite a bit. And I use uh, hidden you know, lights under leaves, but that only works for me really if, or anyone else who's using the uh, opaque leaves. Cause if you use the translucent leaves, uh, you can see the torches right through there and it just looks ugly. Okay, so this is going to be, this here is going to be my ele elevator shaft. Oh, elevator, sh I just, I wasn't going to put in an elevator shaft. But now that I mention it, why put stairs when you can have an elevator shaft? Do I have to have elevator shaft and the stairs? Probably Probably if I had OSHA inspecting it, but I don't have any inspectors around here, so I can get away with whatever I want. I think, yeah, I think this would be a good elevator shaft. So this would be up, and this would be down. It would just have a wall in between. Like that. So this would be the floor into the shaft. Just put the wall there. Yeah, I think that would be, that will work. And this will take you up to each floor. Perfect. Now I'll just have to make sure I figure out how to kick people off each floor. I can I can figure that one out. And then for the rest of this, so this is all going to be wall, which means I don't need any of these. And then these will all be the wall supports. This one will be here. And then we'll do another wall support here. And I'm trying to go for kind of a, not such a flat wall anymore, just a thicker wall here. And I thought maybe using the spruce for contrast and like here would be the main doors so we would have spruce out there and oh I didn't oh I did bring some no I didn't oh I see creeper but there would also be like a couple pillars here going up. And this would be the main entrance in there. And actually that's too low. So I want the entrance, I'll crank the entrance up one. And I'll need to do this to balance it on either side. And then this would be a bigger window. So this would be here would be the main desk would be here. There would be the elevator I was saying here. And then just lobby maybe or office. Maybe a conference room over in this corner. And then all the rooms are going to be upstairs. I am not. I thought of initially one of my builds was to put the uh, restaurant inside the uh, hotel, but I think the restaurant's going to be over here where all like the creepers and stuff are. Oh, there's a couple creepers over there. 
And I'm actually aiming for the grapers because I want gunpowder. Because I'm running low on rockets. I've been flying all over the place. And I'm too lazy to go to my mob spawner. And actually, I don't have a passive or not passive, I guess a hostile dark room spawner or creeper spawner is being more precise. I don't have one of those around here, so however, once I get everything built, it probably would not be hard to create one because we are in the water. I've lit up a lot of the caves underneath. So we are actually in a good position because look at all the mobs over here spawning just just for fun. So, hold on. My alarm went off, which means I need to go do something real quick. Ah, baby, baby. So let me go uh, do that. I'm going to add in a floor, kind of beef up the walls here and start on the second story. And be back in a little jiffy. What do you have? Huh. Yellow dye, yeah. purple dye, uh -huh. and gunpowder at exorbitant prices. I don't see how anyone can trade with you, buddy. Uh -huh. And the only reason I'm looking is because I think, hopefully, maybe you have glow berries. I don't think you do. I think I have to go dig through chests and stuff to find those. Well, anyway, where were we? Oh, we were building this. So I have gotten a little more done on my hotel. So the first floor walls are all up. And really what I worked on was the elevator. This took a little bit of trial and error. And I didn't want to have to get too redstoney. So I've kind of gone the simple way. So you go in here, it takes you to the second floor. And then you come out. So on the second floor here, this will be like a hallway. And then we'll have rooms off to this side. Probably two rooms over here. And maybe two rooms over there. This room, since that's all glass, maybe this will be one big room. And the wall will be right about there. So something like that. So that will be one room right there. And then the other room will be over here. Like that. Actually, since we got a hallway here. Maybe like that. So maybe a small room here. Bigger room over there. And rooms like that. And this one has kind of a high, you know, high ceiling. Yeah, so I don't have much. Do I have? Ah, dang it. I forgot to get my spruce. But anyhow, the walls are going to go up like that. So I guess we'll have to have, have something like this. that kind of matches what I have down on the first floor. Because I've added this up there. And the trick I want to do is just put these trap doors here. So, it, so it's got the gray, but it doesn't really stand out. And I kind of did the same thing here on the elevator. I unstripped or didn't strip the wood there. And just put the doors over it so you can kind of see the gray through it. So it's getting nighttime. I better get some sleep because I have been zombied and 
skeletoned and creepered all over the place through here. So that's what it looks like with all the trap doors across the front. Uh, debating where to put them on those corners. I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to put them in between where the walls are and leave the gray. So this would be the main lobby. Like I said, there's going to be a desk here. So this is where you're going to check in. So we're going to go like in an L here. This will be a door out. So there'll be like a little picnic table and stuff out here. For and I don't want to wall it all the way in. It's kind of like an indoor outdoor eating area. Plus it supports the second floor. So we want to do that. there that takes care of that like I said this would be a conference room it's got a couple more pieces here and you probably notice I've gone with the walls for the walls and windows And if we hit the elevator, we go up, and then we're on the second floor. So I got this all blocked out like this. Okay, I'm going to continue kind of how I had it down below. So we just, actually, no, I didn't have that, did I? I had the walls. So let's fill this in here because this is going to be a wall here like that. And then around the doors we'll do the spruce. So something like that. Actually that needs to be up one. And then that's where the granite walls come in. And they also come in here. And we got a huge, huge window. Like that. We we'll also need to do that there. Right in the corner. We're going to pull these up. And, oh, sorry. I forgot. There. Like that. I can pull those up a couple more. Think that yeah that would be a third floor. That may be too too tall, but we'll figure it out later. And I'm kind of wasting wood right there in the corner because it's not going to be seen by anybody. And for the andesite block, uh, this would be probably better done from up top. But I'll, so let me uh, finish down here. I'll kind of just work out this one wall. So that way you kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. Because we'll have, at least on the outside, we have windows. I decided to go orange on everything, so all the windows are orange. 
And through here, we don't even need a window. We just need to put a wall between the two rooms. So this would be like one room. And even here. Have like the wall there and then you know same thing here so that'd be one room we'll do the same thing on all of these because we'll have the doors figure out the corner like some of these corners I can like cut that corner off and it's not going to uh, won't affect the room but it will Kind of uh, open things up around here. And I could put like a plant or something there. And I think here we would put a window. And then probably over here too. So on the elevators, I couldn't figure out a way to get to each floor and stop. So I kind of did this. You stop down here and it pushes you out. And then you get on the second floor. And if you want to get to the third floor, you go up this little stairway. And you jump in here and then it pushes you out and then you're on the third floor. Then to get down, you've got the same you know, water elevators going down. So this will take you to the second floor and then you got to go from the second floor to the first floor. Oh, it was yep I'm out of out of glass squares glass blocks so this will be the third floor so I think really right here instead of wood we are going to put andesite like we did on the first floor And then the walls are going to be the same. We'll do this for the walls. And we're saying I wasn't sure how high it would go. I don't want the roof that low. So I thought once we got up here, we could uh, raise the roof by one. And that should be... Should that be a high enough roof or maybe one more? Let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, I think the roof is goes, it'll go up one more. So we'll have to raise this up one. I've got most of the second floor all outlined and the third floor and then up on the roof here we're stepped it up a bit so now I've got this taller ceiling and we'll just have another hallway through here you know another room off this side like that you know this one will continue this way And then we'd have this room here. So this would be the hallway right here. So this would be a room. This would be a room. And that would be the hallway. So I just have a bit of little, you know, touch up work to do around here. Figure out where my corner is. I think it's right here, like that. I'll have to go downstairs and figure that out. I think I've made good progress on my hotel here. I almost want to go up a little higher, but I'd have to monkey with the elevators again, which I could do. So we'll see. Maybe, you know, if I get a, a 
burst energy in the meantime. I may add a couple more floors on here. So I'll follow the same style. Well, so far, so good. I think I need to raise that up all the way up this way. And maybe go through and replace those with the andesite blocks. Just to keep it looking. Oops, oh, almost missed the roof. Yeah, so I've got the andesite blocks here. I think I need to put andesite blocks there and I need to raise these pillars all the way up. That's a little different over there. Huh? So I got the lobby. I got three rooms there. Three rooms. That's only six rooms. It's such a big building. So I may actually push it up a little taller. It doesn't hurt to have nice tall buildings. But so far, so good. And that, I'm running out of time for today. So uh, I will work on this in the meantime, off camera. And when you come back, we will uh, still be working on it, but maybe doing the interiors and that kind of stuff. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, please come back and catch the next episode. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.